Jerry, my guy, I'm starting to think there was something in that herbal medicine. <laughs> Rim rims of Jerry Gypt. You return to the adventures of Pharaoh Jerry and his mighty city. What a nice city it is. Yesterday, Jerry very coincidentally reached Silent Level 10 just as the gods themselves blessed us with expanded psychasts. First of all, we must give praise and great thanks and congratulations to the gods for their for their release of Vanilla Psychasts Expanded. What a what a coincidence. What a strange coincidence that Jerry would reach Silent Level 10 just as that was released. Wow, I could have guessed that. Now that Jerry has reached new heights, heights never before seen with Silent Level 10, the gods have blessed him with new powers. Him and his people with powers never before seen. 15 new side casting paths and styles bestowed upon Jerry by the gods himself. Well, 14, technically, because Jerry's no longer Imperial. The ability for Jerry to expand his mind and meditate in new interesting ways, along with upgrading his stats himself. This will truly be the Pharaoh's kingdom. I mean, he's already he's already done a pretty good job of defending the colony by himself anyway. And as our Pharaohs are leading the colony based on their passions, their interests, their backstory, of course it would make sense that the Pharaohs choose to worship the gods and follow the side-casting paths depending on their passions and their backstories and how they want to rule. Perhaps Pharaoh Jerry, being a master of fire combat, fighting off many, many raids with his fiery sword, might become a conflagrator, a master of flame, unlocking all of those fire-based sidecasts from Ra himself, Osk Ra, that is. Or maybe Jerry will go down the, the Technomancer path, given that he was a roboticist in his previous life. Or maybe both. I do want each pharaoh to have their own unique skill set, though. Maybe there can be some overlap, but I want to choose different with each pharaoh. So, of course, we can see everything. But so that these, so that this side casting is tied to inherently the pharaoh himself. It was side casting that built this city in the first place. Why not have side casting defend it? Now, incidentally, on the subject of Jerry using side cast to defend the colony, I did check the storyteller, and it was broken. Sometimes they get a little stuck, especially when you're introducing new mods. Uh, so over the course of yesterday, we didn't get any raids. We only had kind of minor threats and the, the Elder Dragon turning up, which I'd argue was pretty important. But we didn't have any full-on raids. I fixed that. Everything's fine now. Don't panic. The problem is, now that that is fixed and raiders can turn up, we're probably going to have a lot to deal with. We, we spent yesterday crafting weapons, armor, very fancy sets of gear for people like Timo and Jerry. All of that had a bit of an impact on the colony wealth. As in, we're almost up to 400,000 at this point. And all we've got to defend ourselves is slingshots. So Jerry at the end of yesterday became a level 10 sidecast. And now I've spent one of those points immediately on natural meditation type. So that we can still use the anima tree that we spent so long trying to get yesterday. That leaves him with nine available points to spend. Now we can upgrade his basic sidecasting stats here. His heat limit, his recovery rate, his sensitivity, etc. We can pick one of the paths for him and start upgrading that one. Or we can pick some more focus types. But I think... Conflagrator Jerry, the master of fighting with fire, is is too perfect. I mean, that's what he's done. He saved the colony countless times with that. We have to choose it, right? Conflagrators are masters of the flame, capable of eradicating entire regiments of enemy infantry using powerful fire tornadoes and explosions. This mod has a lot of stuff in it. I might have tinkered with it before it was released. It had a lot of... It's got a lot of stuff, okay? There's a lot of stuff here. And that's why I think each pharaoh should focus on their own separate path. Eight points to spend puts Jerry in a very good place. We are going to choose Fireball as Jerry's first power. The next one is Self Explosion. Creates a brief lived incendiary vortex skip gate around the caster that's connected to hidden reservoirs of pressurized flammable gas. Spreads rapidly, dealing direct damage, but will set almost everything on fire. That sounds useful. I think we'll go with that one. Now, what are our two paths here? We can go down the Fire Beam path. Attempts to recreate the power of a star inside a concentrated column of almost liquidized oxygen. Uh, that sounds very, very good and would be quite funny to test on, uh, you know, the tribal raiders that come knocking at the gates. Or we pick Fire Tornado. Now, I'm not going to lie to you out of those two options. I am drawn more towards Fire Tornado. It's not as if we've got to worry about the base burning down this time, right? And then the middle path has some more defensive power. So Fire Shield and Extinguish flames. Of course, we're going to get... Jerry's going to get all of these before long. I think Breathe Flame generates a brief unidirectional skip gate within underground reservoirs of unrefined organic chemicals along with a tiny spark in front of the caster's mouth. I like that. And Meteor Shower. Hello there. Ooh. I wonder if they land like regular meteors do, in that we might be able to get some resources from it as well, but when we're limited to what, limestone and sandstone on this map. And of course, I have to take Fire Tornado. I like the idea of picking these two... Uh, 
uh, defensive powers as well for Jerry. And then we'll go for explosion. Next up is eye blast and then fire beam. Of course, we're going to take all of them. We should make it a rule that the Pharaoh should finish all of his, all of the, all of the side casting in a tree before he moves on to a new one. Now, you could make an argument. It might be better to upgrade Jerry's base stats. Sure, he can use all of these different powers, but he can probably only use them once or twice right now. Oh god, and this also means I'm gonna need some... Royal Armor to try and allow Jerry to, to recover some of his side-casting heat rate a little bit more. Um, we can't do that, so how about... Mmm, delicious soup. Actually, that looks lavish meals. That's, that's really good. I overlooked that. Oh, now hang on a second. Before we do all that and embrace the power of the gods, we seem to have no food left. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my priorities are in the right place. Isn't that right, gigantic pyramid? Maybe some people dedicated to fishing? I mean, Wes is obviously an animal expert at this stage after so many days of training. Um, Cock. Cock, my friend. I really need to rename you. But other than that, if you could get some fishes for me, what about little, little Brody? You are good at, you're too good at crafting. Um, and then Togues is very good at construction. Rebecca is our chef. So if we put her on fishing as the next priority as well, that just kind of makes sense. Ah, now that is a fair point. Okay, a lot of people in the comments yesterday were complaining that our people are wearing trousers. Which, it, this isn't a RimWorld moment, I promise. As far as I understand, they're upset about it, not for, not, you know, not for regular reasons, but instead because they're in the desert. You know, it's not very appropriate to be wearing trousers in a desert. It's probably quite warm out here. There isn't anything we can wear with armor that covers them up otherwise. They get quite upset if, if they don't have at least something on. Togas are skin, middle, and outer layers. The robes as well, same story. So if we see anything pop up that might fill that gap, that could be that could be fine. That could work. I don't want gunpowder. We're going to have to research it eventually, but we're just never going to use it. Oh, you know what I did do, though? At some point during yesterday, I told them to make recurve bows rather than rather than slings. I thought, given now that we are in the medieval era and we're getting, we're getting into the medieval era a little bit more, an upgrade might be quite nice, even though... You know, slings are quite appropriate. Bows also work quite well. And I don't think that's too crazy of an upgrade, you know? Slings to... Uh, slings to bows over the course of two eras. I think that's fine. Oh my god, they're already all crafted. Ah, And they are Kemetic style, so it's all above board. I mean, I was gonna rename Cock until I saw that their title is Butcher, and I feel like that's just too good. Cock Butcher? Fine, you can stay as you are. I think we should probably upgrade the swords as well, because we are in for some hefty raids, even though Jerry is now a fire master. I'm not going to rely entirely on Jerry. I'm sure he's going to do some great work. I just don't think he's going to be able to do that much of, of great work, you know? Oh, that's weird. Our iron ingot gladius is already better than anything else. We can make sure it's excellent quality. But instead of upgrading, I, I mean, this also makes sense for the whole progressing through era style, Instead of upgrading the weapon itself, instead of moving away from, from a particular weapon type, we can upgrade the material. Like, we can, we can get steel a little bit easier now. Not only are we moving on to eventually get the research where we can make it from the coal we get from the quarries and the iron ingots we get from our settlement, but for the time being, we can have the settlement make it for us. How much silver have we got kicking around? 2,222. Sure, let's go for a tithe of steel then. I think that's a good idea. How, how are our tiny little colonists doing then? So we've got Dodgy Dave King currently training in, in construction, right? Actually really, really good. A lot of people were saying train him up in medical instead, given that he has a complete aversion to violence and it will work alongside some of our other characters too, like Garthwick's very good at medical. Maybe we could focus him on being the, the healing pharaoh, especially given that Wes, little Wes, his father, is a very violent guy. Pretty violent guy, volatile, passion for melee. I do like that idea, and I think I might swap him over. I mean, construction is always going to be uh, something we can do because we've got Tecmate, the Eternal Royal Guard. So let's give him some medicine instead. And you've got to consider he's going to have access to Psy powers, and I'm sure there are more than a few uh, Psy powers based on healing and defending. I mean, shit, Jerry's a fire Psy caster, and he has two of them. Then we have a little Garthwick Avion. She is the heir to the Avion Dynasty. 13 medical double passion, very nice. Brody. Little Brody Struker. 14 crafting double passion at the age of 10. Wow, our great memory. Yeah, things like great memory and anything that has them gaining skills a lot faster is going to be so much more valuable with schools. I never considered how kind of overpowered that is. I mean, it's rare, right? Ooh, spears. Oh, yeah, no spears work well. Let's take those. Spears rather than short swords. I actually like that idea a lot. Maybe we'll make steel spears up from our iron gladius that we have now. Oh, engineering locks a windmill. Oh, that's cool. Um, 
Then we've got to go for it. And eventually, with alchemy, we can also get an advanced research bench. If I remember correctly, this is kind of like the... Uh, it's kind of like the multi-analyzer of the medieval era. Oh, Jerry, you get yourself that grass. Oh, I mean grass, like anima grass. Not as in, like... Well, I suppose it probably is psychoactive, isn't it, if it's anima grass? Ah, oh, taxes for Jerry. Hello there. 2,100 steel ingots. My God. Thank you. Is that duck? What's going on there? <laughs> For our priests. When eventually we get to that point where we can use the staff of royalty to start giving people ranks and make people priests. I mean, a, a duck priest is legendary. Thank you. Thank you. Your offerings to the pharaoh are greatly appreciated. I don't like the fact that the pharaoh's people have like way better gear than us. I suppose it makes sense, though, if they're the ones producing the steel in the first place, right? So, Gladius are gone. That is, that is old tier. Let's go for the spears. And I guess spears and kite shields? Round shields? I don't think it really matters. Ancient Egyptian shields look more like tower shields made of, made of leather and hide. I mean, the heavy shield would be perfect for that, and it still uses... It still uses steel. It's the wrong design, but we can paint it. I mean, it's a little, it's a little too Roman, but that doesn't matter too much. We've actually only got three melee characters. Oh, well, Alina's wearing melee gear, but she isn't. We've only got Wes, 11.67. Cock the Butcher. Oh, I mean, Cock the Butcher isn't even a melee character. I feel like I need to start training up some melee characters. It's kind of hard for them to compete with Tech Mate and Timo and Jerry, but Azathoth, maybe I'll train you up. Because you've got 7.04 melee with a with a passion. Let's swap shooting out for melee then. Everybody's already so skilled in shooting already. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I closed it off, but I promise we did just finish engineering. Oh, plumbing. That's nice. Oh, fountains would be good. Plumbing, sewage outlets, water butts. I, I don't think that's so high tech that it would be out of place. Protective clothing for maybe more appropriate gear. Right now, they're wearing wooden armor. Which isn't ideal. Ooh, fancier spears. Damn it, just so I start work on the other spears. Um, a boar spear. A speetum. A what? We have found a site containing a stargate. It may contain treasure guarded by ancient enemies, or it may contain nothing. In either case, the stargate will be extremely useful if we can retrieve it. How far away is it? Because we could take the... Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's really deep in the desert. We'd have to go through this mountain pass. Oh my god, that might be worth it, though. How long would it take to get there on Velociraptor back? Let's give it a go. We would send uh, Braytek and Tecmate, I suppose, on the Velociraptors. It would still take them 2.8 days. Ugh. I'm going to risk it. I, I, I think that... Uh, yeah, no, you're fine. I think that Jerry... They did pack energy cells, just to clarify. I think that Jerry... And, it, and if we can bash out this new gear before then... I think we'll be decently well defended. We might want to focus on building a decent gate on the entrance in that case. I mean, we can probably shoot out of windows, right? Can you, can you shoot through windows? Well, of course you can, because they shot baby Garthwick's arm off. Ooh, okay. Um, It's a shame the Apocrypha is there and not a little further out. I admit building it there was probably a silly idea in hindsight. Ooh, who's getting married? Hello. Jaspazi and Azathoth Bloodfang. Legendary. Now, what I've done to try and make things a little bit more clear as well, because I'll be honest, I, I mean, if I can't keep up with the family trees, I can't imagine anyone else is too. I've changed their job title to just their last names. I thought that made a lot more sense. Oh, and by last names, I mean their, their birth names, so we can see the family's a little easier. So obviously, Wes and Rebecca are married. She's Rebecca King, but I've written Struker in the bar just to keep track, just so that we can see the dynasties a bit more clearly. And then for Wes, Dodgy Dave, and the and Pharaoh Jerry, I've let them keep their titles, because we know who they are. Now, the other thing I was a little concerned about is that we apparently have spears somewhere. Yet, yeah, looking through the stockpile... I can't find any spears. Even if I type in the search tab spears, nothing comes up. Turns out, when you're comedic, you don't make spears. You make palm axes, which were apparently put in this cabinet in the marketplace. But look at those. That feels a lot better. Toads, come swap out that crappy little sword, my friend. You're going full comedic with this one. Look at that. And when eventually we get compound bows, long bows, those will also have a comedic style to them. I guess that'll be the next upgrade for our... Archer characters. How are you two doing? What's going on? We need we need a few more Legionnaire armor to replace the um <laughs> the wooden stuff we have right now. Or if we have a raid, we're gonna get absolutely annihilated now that Braytech and Tecmate are going for the Stargate. But I mean, who else was Jerry gonna send? He can't let these people know that there's technology out there in the world. 
They don't need to know that there's whole civilizations beyond the stars, like where Jerry came from. They just think they're on this planet. This is all there is to it. And, you know, the gods have been blessing them. I mean, maybe the gods have been blessing them. That's not up for debate. I mean, look at Jerry. Look at what he's got now. When we have the priest, we'll also allow priests to come in here and meditate too. But for the time being, because any natural born colonist has that natural meditation type. But for the time being, I think limiting it to just Jerry, even though it's going to be slower to grow the grasses, it's kind of thematic. Desert looming is very, very cool. Learn the techniques of desert remorders, artisan textile crafts, but... How can I ignore caster gear at this point? This is from Vanilla Psychast Expanded 2. Eltex, cape, dagger, mask, mace, and sword. The mask is quite appropriate for this era too, huh? Let's go for it. Ah, oh, that's where you make quivers. Okay, that will do it. I think that increases their fire rate by, yeah, I mean, 50% faster. Or I should say, of course, the cooldown rate is reduced to 50%, which isn't quite the same thing. That's fantastic. Okay, let's do until we've got... We'll just, again, do until we've got two in storage, but don't count what's equipped on people. So we've always got a couple of spares that way. I guess there must be a recipe for Eltex at this point, right? There might be something else that maybe we can produce in Jerry's Mansion along with the, along with the very fancy cloth. The hammers? I don't think... Ooh! Oh, alchemy is good. Oh. Oh, it's the Stargate. Hello. Holy crap. Oh, there's already people here. They're only tribal. I think Tecmate and Brightek can probably deal with them okay. Look at this rock. Green marble. Oh, that's so weird. I don't like that at all. Can I put them back on the... If you walk there, are you going to leave the map? Don't do it, Brightek. Oh, God. Um, I, w I want him to get on the raptor. Just because he's not exactly... There you go. There you go. Go, go, go. Quality meme. Stay there. Don't move. He's not exactly the fastest runner, so I feel like Velociraptor mounted uh, Royal Guards might be the best way to deal with this one. <laughs> not something I thought I'd say this series, I'll be honest with you. Get him, Braytek. Yes. Oh, it's shit. It's going nighttime. Okay, we've got to deal with them fast then. Nice. Get in there. Defend Lord Braytek. Braytek, you need to start going for the long range characters, fella. Okay, aim in that way. Oh! Nice. This is going to be dangerous. Holy shit. Risky place. Risky place. Risky place. It's all for the Stargate. Come on. Jerry wants the tech. Hey, Orange, have you ever spent time thinking about archaeology? <laughs> yeah, you better run. It's Jerry's Stargate now. The Pharaoh. The Pharaoh says hello. The Pharaoh. Shit. We need to think of a better one liner. The Pharaoh sends his regards. What does it do? I mean, it's a Stargate. I have a vague feeling about what it does. Ooh. What does it, what does it do, though? No available destinations. We need to find other Stargates. I see. Okay. I guess we... I guess we claim it. I guess that comes with us, then, huh? Hopefully, they can actually carry it home. They might not be able to ride the Raptors back at this stage, but fingers crossed we can actually carry that. Otherwise... I guess we'll leave it there. I guess we know for next time, right? Uh, 51 out of 70 kilograms. I get the feeling it's probably heavier than that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, slightly heavier. Yeah. Well, shit. Great work. Is there anything we can do with it here, then, before we just go ahead and abandon it? I mean, that's, that seem, that would suck. That would suck. I don't want to just leave it here. Can we, we can't dial anything in because we don't know any destinations to go. All right. Well, I guess there's nothing else for it. If Jerry can't have it, it's too dangerous to be left in the hands of these of these random people. Start smashing, squad. You can't use the gate without the dialer, so what we've got to do is smash that one up. And done. Well done, squad. Oh, okay. We actually got some... We could have just deconstructed it. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I'm very good at this game. Brilliant. Well, I mean, look, there's plenty of resources to... Uh, Bring back to Jerry. It wasn't all entirely wasted at all. In fact, I'd say quite the opposite. We got a load of really, really good stuff out of that. Advanced components. Not going to do anything with it. Um, 30. How many? 65 regular components. We want to take the gold. And to be honest, I think we probably want to take the steel as well. Um, although we can always get more steel. We need to take enough components to, to be able to keep repairing the solar panel. Because without the solar panel, without the workbench, Tepate and Brace it will die. So I think bring at least 20 of those back and then top off the rest with... With steel? 10 steel ingots. It's not worth it. Bring the components. Oh, they actually built the path. Look at that. Between the, the mighty city of Jerry and Gemphis. Eventually, we'll be able to get research that can upgrade it, too. Advanced research table. What the hell is happening to Timo? Timo, what happened? He got bitten by a hyena. Well, I mean, you do live in the desert, to be fair. Advanced research bench. There we go. Are they bigger? Or oh, they're the same size. 
Oh, sweet. We need basic components in iron ingots. Well, next time we get a tithe from the Empire, obviously we can't do it for a while. Next time we get a tithe from the, the city of Jerry, we'll have to ask for iron, because there are a lot of recipes that require specifically that. And I'm pretty sure that you need iron to make components too. Um, God knows which one of these hundreds of workbenches that's from. Ah, yeah, there you go. Medieval components times four. So we'll... I don't know, do until we've got 20 of those, that seems fine. Oh, there you go. So the way silence work in Psychos Expanded is as you meditate, you will gain experience. Now that's fantastic for us, because not only can we tweak it in the settings, but in mind our people time uh, age 10 times faster than your regular Rimwalk characters, so that's, you know, over the course of their lives far less. Obviously, I've not said 10 times higher, that'd be ridiculous, but it just means that we can tweak it, and I'm going to worry about getting silenced, because there are so few options available to us as a as a uh, kind of medieval colony, I suppose. Do you want to upgrade his stats? Um, I guess we've got to wait to actually test him out in combat first. Look, I've got to go for the fire beam, haven't I? Bear in mind, the guy's been meditating basically non-stop since we've started. If we're only getting, like, one silent per episode, they're still not going to be super hyper-powerful. Ah, oh, thank you for the taxes. Wow, she was gone fast. Bloody hell. I guess Jerry was here to get his silver. I hope they don't fear the Pharaoh. I mean, he's kind of a nice guy. He's 68 years of age. <laughs> what a pop-up, eh? Congratulations to Spazzy and... Azathoth? I remember. I remember these people. What did that quest pop-up say? An Eltex Meteor. Well, that's answered my last question. A large meteor has struck the ground nearby. It left behind a large lump of LTEX. LTEX can be used to create side focus. I think we know that. Um, God damn it. <laughs> uh, tap my tape, pack your things. I'm not going to be that cruel. I'll let them come home first. I feel like they deserve a holiday after their failed Stargate expedition. Great right, caravan has arrived. Did Gemfis. Hello, welcome. Thank you for the gifts, the uh, components, the mysterious components that nobody knows how to use. Oh my God, is Jerry... So old now that he's getting birthday problems. Rebecca King has reached the biological age of 29. She's gained an artery blockage. Rebecca? You're like the, the what, the sixth youngest person in the colony. Well, that's unfortunate. And Jerry's still fine. He's 69 years of age. Oh, he's frail. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, man, Jerry, he's losing it a little bit. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, your time has come. Subjects from House Grey Hate have arrived. Here we go. Was it House Grey Hate that shot Garthwick's arm off? No, I think that was the, the planes people, right? Oh, it's two groups. Oh, but he's got some fancy armor we could steal for Jerry. Gilded iron plate. Does it? Oh, it doesn't give the bonuses. Okay, fair enough. I, I thought it might give some. Uh, Cock, have you got a weapon? <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> new squad with new weapons, new armor. There's a trade caravan here who will probably get caught on the way out. I wonder if we can forbid that gate for some scar on the other side. I know they can open forbidden gates, but who knows? Maybe it'll maybe it'll influence them only slightly. Here they come. Good luck, squad. Jerry? Where is Pharaoh Jerry? Pharaoh Jerry, hurry up! Obviously, when we get to using his... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. When we get to using some of these side powers, we need to make sure everyone else is out the way. Pharaoh Jerry's about to put the fire in friendly fire. Uh, cock, start running. Rebecca! Rebecca, how are you so slow? Okay, everybody is going to have to get w uh, very, very, very far away. Because Pharaoh Jerry is going to drop some fireballs. Fire tornado. Should I do it? I, I worry that Rebecca is going to get annihilated. To be fair, she might get ooh, annihilated anyway. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What, where's the other squad? They're still miles away. Um, What if we just try some other things first? Like a nice casual eye blast. Yes! <laughs> Flame ball. Get him, Jerry. Yes! Oh my god, the trade caravan's in the way. Um, I suppose it gives time for our people to kind of coalesce a little bit towards the bridge. I need Jerry ready to fire the fire tornado, though, as they... I mean, as they come down here, that would be incredible if we could pull that off. Garthwick! The, why do they hate Garthwick? Uh, this trade caravan might have saved us. Wait, they kidnapped Rebecca? I didn't even notice! Oh my god, Wes is never going to forgive them. Wes is never going to forgive them. Look at his expression. I didn't even see them pick her up. Shit. Vengeance. I think we need some vengeance going on in exchange for that. How dare you. Jerry? Burn them all. Burn them all, Jerry. They're going after someone's camel. I don't know whose camel that is. Yes! 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 You face the wrath of the Pharaoh now. 
Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Die! Die! Oh, they shot Jerry. No, I wasn't saying kill Jerry. You moron. <laughs> There's still quite a lot of them. We, we're not quite out of this yet. Oh, who died? Oh, one of the allies. I see, I see, I see. Uh, Timo, come forward. Timo, t uh, protect Jerry. Protect the Pharaoh, please. Oh, shit. This could be quite difficult. Um, uh, melee characters. Give me those. And get Kitten. Nice. Good work, good work. Uh, Bray Tech, just piss off. <laughs> Bray Tech, just do us a favor and piss off. For God's sake, man. Trade Caravan's coming down. The Trade Caravan's here. We're going to be fine. We are going to be fine. Uh, uh, people still could die, but we're going to be fine for the time being. Mate is down. Wait. Tell Mate, you bloody coward. We need some good prosthetics for our people. Because they're moving, moving is so compromised anyway that even a couple of hits is enough to drop them. Well, that didn't exactly go smoothly, did it? Even with the fire tornado. Turns out you can't just have the Pharaoh scream as he launches fireballs at people. Uh, how's everyone doing? Just Pazzy is in a lot, of, a lot of trouble. Timo's in a lot of trouble. Jerry's fine. Um, Lee Zero patch up. Uh, really, you should go for the Pharaoh first, but the Pharaoh is, is, is happy for you to go and stop his people dying. He is only a Pharaoh because of his people. You start patching Timo. Have we got any other good doctors in the colony? We've only got Brody. Little Brody, congratulations. 8.3 medical at the age of baby, wow. Timo's off and he's pissed. Whose wildebeest was that? <laughs> Timo just really, really did not like that wildebeest. I think everybody's going to be fine, just about. Well, with the exception of Wes, who's probably vengeful. Well, I think I've got to admit, I'm a big fan of the fire tornado. I think that was, uh, I think that was an incredible moment. Thank you, Jerry. I don't think I tried out half of those side casts. We might just have to go and take him out into a field at some stage and just, uh, just let him go butt wild. Test a few of them out. And he's 326 out of 446 points being able to get fire beam. At that point, we could decide if we want to take him down another path, anything that's appropriate for Jerry. Like I said, Technomancer kind of works. If not, we could just start upgrading his basic size stat. Well, there's also a really cool system when we get multiple classes to create a size set. So instead of having all of them on the bar, you can just choose the ones that you want. So say you have a defensive character, but knows fire magic and whatever else, you can put all the defensive abilities on a bar. But because Jerry only knows the one, we don't really need it for now. It's full on loadouts. It's full on RPG style loadouts. I actually have an RPG series planned for vanilla side casting expanded. Maybe I'll come out after this one. You know what? I think I probably will. Oh, now the real question is, do we save up to get the Staff of Royalty, which will allow Jerry to designate people with titles, set people up as priests and barons, much like you would in the Empire? Or do we save that for a future Pharaoh? Someone a bit more politically minded, someone with a bit more of, of that kind of goal in mind. And do we instead make all of these replacement limbs? We have the components to do it now. We've got the steel and we've got the gold to do it too. I think I've got to make at least... One arm. We've got to have at least one arm and one leg in storage at all times. I'm not concerned about hands. We'll just replace the whole arm, I suppose. I'm not really concerned about legs or feet. Oh, no, I meant feet and toes. I am concerned about legs. <laughs> Using the way Bray Tech walks or doesn't walk. Turns out giving a robot a peg leg isn't the most efficient way to uh, fight your enemies, especially when it's the Royal Guard. I mean, giving a perfectly legitimate businessman a peg leg. No robots here. What's a robot? Sure, Pharaoh Jerry communed with the gods and gained all sorts of psi powers, almost single-handedly held off an entire part of that raid, an entire group of those raiders. I actually think today's episode was about Wes. Double passion for melee, volatile, and now his wife and his childhood love has been kidnapped. I think he's probably going to be pissed. I mean, he looks pissed. Well, I didn't even change his face. He's just very, very pissed. Minus 30 mood, holy crap. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, no, he's gonna be angry. He's gonna be angry, and he is gonna hate that faction. So I think we have a life goal for Wes, whereas Jerry's was to build the city, gain his side powers, build a pyramid, of course. I think Wes might end up being a conqueror, a slayer of House Greyhate. Where are they based? Uh, they are... Oh, are they the silver ones? They are. It's gonna be a hell of a campaign, a crusade to get across to 
the other side of the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bases too. Some of which we can't get to. I think as long as he, he brings them down to their knees, maybe they could swear fealty to the Pharaoh. I think that would be impressive. I think that would be enough to satiate Wes. And of course, getting Rebecca back at some stage. So the threats begin. Not a peaceful day in the city of Jerry. Not like yesterday, where they got soft and complacent, building their marketplaces, sowing their crops. Now we've got war. Wes is going to call for war. Whether or not Jerry will go for it, or Wes will have to wait to take power, who knows. Thank you to the mighty patrons for allowing this series to exist. Thank you for bearing with me while this episode today was late. I had to rearrange the mod pack a little bit, of course, to get this gigantic new side casting mod to work very suddenly. Thank you to Chax, Almadelma, Talia, the Acolytes of Arcadius, Kyle, Master of Loki, R997123, Felpy, Bill Sasparilla, Spongy1312, Nyanlothotep, it's complicated. MTB, Magondi, Lapis, Gollum, Meepsicle, Dying Whisper, Cobalt, Arcaniac, Seabark, Train, Sinray, Hobo, Billy, Joel, and David A. Reinhardt for their support. The executive produced tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making the adventures of Jerry possible. Thank you for joining me in this generation's experience. And thank you as well to Green King, Gina DeFranco, Blackadder51, XX Risto, XX Kiefer Blatt, Brian Watkins, Jake B, Ever Vigilant One, Furpo11, Doc Thate, Yanosh, Starlord. Sean Davies, Serge Develez, Sam S, Nikki in Wonderland, Ryan Demand, Jason Man, and Xenos the Painter. See you all for some Jerry? Some side casting Jerry?